Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. <clears throat> In today's episode, we're gonna be paying some bills. That's it. Actually, I have to go pay my phone bill and um, I decided to make that the topic of today's video. Now, I know I've talked about this subject uh, many times before, but it, it never goes without, um, you know, repeating many times because basically every time I go to the OXO, because best, by the way, that's where we're going. Every time I go to the OXO in order to take care of some bills um, or just get, you know, just get some snacks, I learned I learn new things about OXO all the time. And so today, so, so today, um, as I gotta go real quick to pay um, the phone bill, I decided to just share with you all the cool things you can do at the OXO. All right, hold on. I, I just noticed, all right, there we go. There was some fuzzy stuff on the camera lens there. But first of all, let's talk about what is OXO. So OXO spelled O-X-X-O is basically the 7-Eleven of, uh, of Mexico. You're gonna find, you're gonna find these OXOs all over the place. Um, and they do all kinds of things. Basically, this is the place where you're gonna be paying most of your bills for convenience. There's other places you can pay your bills, basically direct and other, there's other um, instance, you know places that you can do that stuff at, but Basically, the thing is, is like if you have a, you know, OXO, just like you have a, you know, a 7-Eleven gas station, what have you, pretty much every corner of every neighborhood, of every place that you go all across the U.S., why wouldn't you just, uh, for out of convenience, just pay it there? So, you know, basically, basically, the, the reason a lot of people like to go to the OXO um, or pay it there is just out of pure convenience because again basically right now what i'm going to be doing is i'm, I'm going to go and just uh pay my phone bill now i'm going to talk about the phone bill a little bit in specific in today's episode but basically you know just to round off uh talking about oxo for a second at oxo is a place where you can uh again pay your light bill pay um, all kinds of bills you can send money you can deposit money into your bank account or another's uh, bank account um, so many things that you so many other transfers and uh, and other electronic um, things that you can do there in some cases you might be able to even receive or um, or send money like money wire transfers I haven't done it yet um, but I've done it at other places you know not an OXO but regardless you know there's a million things you could do at OXO now today we're really gonna be talking about the phone and the phone bill the phone um, sim card you know everything that has to do with that because basically you know you know what what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flip it around I just realized that you guys want to see this I, I got the I got the other camera now you don't have to see my face the whole time sorry about that but anyways so yeah so like talking about the the phone situation you basically have a lot of options when it comes to the phone bill you know um, you can use your provider you know if you're coming out here on vacation you're coming out here for a while or if you travel back between the states or or europe or wherever you're from a lot then you know maybe your carrier might be the best scenario situation by the way it is freezing right now we're just a few days away from march and it is freezing i sincerely doubt that this is uh anywhere close to near to what the weather is supposed to be like here in march but anyways as I was saying, you know, basically um, about um, the phone bills. So, you know, what happened was that like, uh, for example, my case, when I got out here, um, I eventually had to switch over because um, I wasn't gonna be paying my astronomical, you know, American phone bill, you know, just so that, you know, I can have phone service here when all I really had to do was just, um, you know, crack my phone. And in my case, my phone was already cracked, you know, uh, or what is it jailbreak it or whatever it is you know just open it up to the point where I can insert another sim card and another company and so that's what I did when I got out here um, eventually once I ran out of service on my phone um, instead of just uh, continuing to renew uh, my phone service with uh, Verizon in that in this case you know what I did is that I just um, you know went to um, the local AT&T store 
and at the local AT&T store um, they basically hooked me up with a brand new SIM card a brand new phone a brand new all that stuff I mean well actually I already had a phone I mean a brand new SIM card a brand new phone number and um, all that stuff that goes with it so ever since then I mean basically I've been paying you know for unlimited uh, data for unlimited phone calls unlimited pretty much everything just like i had back home i pay 300 pesos a month and that comes out to you know again 15 dollars a month and i get unlimited everything now the thing is that every time i step out every time i leave um you know the the pretty much the city limits of merida i all, all of a sudden i lose phone reception I get absolutely no phone reception. So when I was first, you know, out here for a little while, I, I told, I figured, I'm like, damn, something, this is not right. You know what I mean? In the sense of like, um, damn, or maybe I'm in the middle of nowhere because, um, you know, how come I don't get any phone reception outside of Merida? And so I was just putting it like that, you know, meaning like, damn, there's no phone reception out here. It's just main, mainly in the city and there's no phone reception. But actually what, I, what ended up happening was that as I was traveling with others, I noticed that everybody had phone reception Except for me. Basically, everybody had, uh, by the way, so this is the OXO that I'm telling you guys about. You guys have, uh, I know you guys have seen, uh, I've come here before, but that's where we're going. But I'm just gonna give you a view of, uh, you know, the streets while I finish the conversation. But yeah, basically, uh, you know, what I figured was, uh, you know, what I learned was that my, um my my phone reception situation was only because i got a really shitty plan you know my plan sure it was 15 bucks a month and it pays for everything while i live out here uh, i mean while i'm in city limits but as soon as i get out of city city limits like go to well i mean the beach is still fine but if i go anywhere you know basically um you know like where i was where i got married if i go pretty much anywhere anywhere except the beach or here i get no reception and so that was pretty terrible because everybody else gets reception. You know, my American friends, uh, you know, they come with their American plans. You know, my girlfriend has an even cheaper plan than I do. And so then I literally figured out that, you know, yeah, my plan was great. You know, my plan was great in the sense of like, yeah, it was great for the time, for the short time being of, um, you know, of uh, using my phone service out here in Merida. But the second that I left Merida, and it was pretty shitty it's terrible in fact i have no reception zero reception no reception whatsoever so you know that is something that i have i need to work on you meaning i gotta go and get another plan but the thing is i barely if ever leave merida and now when i do we got christian's phone and she has reception so there's no real need per se to like have me you know uh, get a brand new phone plan but i would i would say that yeah you know what i mean if i want all the phone service you know like really 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 awesome phone service like in the states i might just have to pay a little more maybe 30 bucks a month i would guess maybe 30 bucks a month but i actually have no idea i really have no idea how much it would be but out here you can um, there's pretty much one major tell cell phone service it's tell cell so t-e-l cell so t-e-l at CEL okay tell so so they are the major cell phone provider they got a pretty much a monopoly out here even someone like AT&T they basically are um, running on the tell cell network so even though I have AT&T AT&T is actually the worst service out here because it runs off of the tell cell network so it's basically like if I have AT&T from back home and it's a roaming so that's kind of like the service I have which is weird but the point is is that um, it's Telcel, and I think they have one or two other companies like AT&T, and they're all really, really shitty, and Telcel is the best. Now, you have several options out here. You have option one, which is the one I take, the one that Christian takes, the one that a lot of people take out here, which is basically get a SIM card, get a phone number, and you pop it into your phone, and then whenever you got to come pay your phone bill, you just come to the OXO, or you go, and there's other places like Walmart, the, there's a lot of places you can go. But basically, OXO, all right? You basically, you go to OXO, all right? And then you just pay your phone bill. How do you pay your phone bill? You tell the teller, I'm here to pay my phone bill. You give her um, your company, you give her the amount, and you pay it, and then you tell her your phone number, and then they pay your phone bill, and then within seconds or minutes, depending, you know, but within seconds to minutes, you get a little text message saying your phone bill has been paid and you're recharged. And um, 
you know, another lesson I learned about the recharging was the fact that like um, out here, you know, like um, a lot of times I will have like four days left on my account and I would come over here and pay it ahead of time thinking, oh, it's gonna be 30 days plus an extra four days of, that I had from rollover. Uh-uh, if you do that, what actually happens is that you lose those four days. That's happened to me before and I didn't know why. So every time that you renew it, it, it starts a brand new thing. So right now, the reason I'm out here is because I'm already been without phone service for a couple days, but since I'm always on Wi-Fi and shit, I don't really necessarily need it, but now I kind of do because I'm gonna be out and about. So now I'm like, all right, I gotta pay my phone bill. So I come over here and pay my phone bill to renew that. Now, the other option that you have out here is also getting a phone contract. You know, you can definitely do that out here. You can go to Telcel, just like you go to Verizon or AT&T or whatever other, you know, cell server service back home. And you can also come out here and get a brand new fancy iPhone 38, um, get the contract, you know, get, get all that shit. You can definitely do all that out here. And then they send you a bill is extremely expensive because I've seen what other people's bills are. Um, and, or I mean, they've told me, I haven't seen them actually, but they've told me and they're pretty much very similar to what your bill you're going to get at home. So with all the charges. So to me, it's like, well, out here, if you can just get a SIM card and then just get it activated at the same place you bought it and then just pay your phone bill everywhere like here, then why the hell do you really need, you know, the phone service? And that would be, well, basically, you, why is because you want a brand new phone and you want to buy it on credit and all that good stuff. But again, if you buy, your, if you're able to afford a brand new phone and you pay it cash, like... I suggest you do um then all of a sudden you don't have to have a contract you don't have to have anything like that and um yeah that's the thing so you know right now i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna pay my phone bill i'm gonna grab a few snacks and then um we're gonna walk back home and we're gonna finish talking a little bit more about um cell phone and what else you can do here at uh, oxo but you know what i'll do i'm gonna bring you in there for one quick second so you guys can get an idea and see what one of these stores are even though you know we've been here many many times before so So yeah, basically again, you know, as you guys can see, they sell the same stuff that they sell back home, right? For a lot cheaper, okay? That's 50 cents for a bottle of Coke. And again, unrelated, but you know, um, the dollar has actually, you know, with the whole situation that's happening now with um, many things, um, you know, you get even more bang for your buck out here. So for sure. Okay. Maybe. As you can see, it's just a regular store. Okay. You got ice cream, you can get your water here. Pretty much everywhere. Just a regular convenience store, all right? So I'm gonna go pay right now. All right, guys, so this is it right here. All right, let's see if we can get a little, little thumbnail. But yeah, guys, so basically, all right, so let's get back to it. Um, Yeah, I already paid my phone bill, and yeah, before I even left the store, I got a, a couple of text messages saying, thank you for paying your phone bill. Thank you for adding, you know, $10 to your phone bill. And like, you know, basically, I just add, you know, uh, just a few bucks here and there. Sometimes I pay for the full month, you know, 300 pesos, you know, and that's, you know, 30 days. It's 10 pesos a day, so 50 cents a day. Or right now, 10, uh, 20, 200 because I'm actually um, thinking about looking around and uh, seeing if I can find uh, a better SIM card situation. Even though this situation, as I was explaining earlier, actually fits my needs better. And um, this is actually a better situation for me, um, being able to just pay 15, you know, again, 15 a month. But again, you know how much Christian pays a month? Um, 
she pays 100 pesos a month for her phone service. Now, her phone service, you know, basically allows her to make phone calls. I can talk to her. We're chatting on WhatsApp all the time. See, what happens is, is that with phone services out here, they give you, like hers, is un like they give you a, a certain amount of data. And again, for the how we Americans use data or how we Westerners, you know, whatever, you know, like a lot of us, you know, in first world countries use data, you know, we, you know, we'll be using all that data like that especially if we're using something like google maps or what have you um now what happens is is that out here with a lot of plans a lot of people have the ability to have um you know what let me flip it around i forgot but anyways out here with a lot of plans you know what people have is the ability you know to um with their plans you know they get free use of whatsapp free use of facebook free use of a lot of things like that so basically what happens is is that most people you know they all they do is use uh i think this guy's wheel broke or what have you anyways hope he gets it fixed soon that's gonna suck for him but anyways um yeah so like what was i saying yeah about the you know basically a lot of people out here what they do is that they use by the way look that's the bus that takes you straight to the beach all right i think like 20 or 20 pesos all right i think it's like 25 pesos i forget how much it was but basically about a dollar dollar fifty to get you straight to the beach all right anyway so as i was saying and you don't have to get it at the bus stop you can i could have stopped the bus there and he would have taken me to the beach assuming that's what i wanted to go um so back to what i was saying you know um about the plan so basically a lot of people out here you know since they use their phones just like we use our phones you know just to check facebook you know to check instagram you know to check um you know with the user whatsapp you know whatsapp is a messaging app that everybody uses out here and you'll see why the reason everybody uses whatsapp is because whatsapp just like instagram are both owned by facebook and basically you know with almost all plans out here um you have a limited amount of data but you have unlimited again let me repeat you have unlimited use okay of uh, you know of data on networks like facebook like whatsapp like instagram and many many other popular apps in uh in mexico you know that a lot of people use so with that being said then there's absolutely you know kind of no need to have all that data because you know Cr christian isn't you know whatever data that they give her it, and just like any mexican i am even yourself probably think about it you know outside of like using spotify streaming that or streaming youtube or things like that which again i think youtube is also part of that plan where you can you know watch all the youtube you want i'm not quite sure there but you know besides if all of a sudden all your streaming needs are met then why would you need you know all this extra data for so that, that's why it kind of works out so again her plan you know which is i think with tell sell is again only 100 pesos a month all right so she pays five dollars a month and basically it covers it covers all of her needs and she has better reception than i do meaning that when she leaves merida she gets reception everywhere so when we go to small little towns and we go to you know the middle of nowhere you know she always has reception and i don't and i'm paying 15 bucks and she just pays five bucks so you know, it goes to show you, you know, there's a lot of options out here when it comes to that. They always have, you know, all kinds of different promotions, all kinds of things like that. In which, uh, you know, you just got to keep an eye out and um, and check out. And, uh, and a lot of times, you know, we have an advantage over some of these things because, you know, 30, 30 you know, uh, 300, uh, 300 pesos might seem expensive, you know, to the, you know, to, to a Mexican for a phone bill for a cell phone bill but again 300 pesos you know for us is nothing 15 dollars are you kidding me you know 15 dollars is for a phone bill is uh, extremely cheap so you know those are more of the positives more of the positives of living out here and again you know now let's go back to like the oxo situation you know and so at oxo you can do a million things they're open 24 hours a day you know you can get snacks here, let me show you some of the snacks that you can get. Now, this snack is going to be more pricey at the OXO than it is at a small store. Look at that bus. That's old. Man, that's an old bus. But anyways, 
but basically yeah so like this this snack is going to be like 15 pesos at oxo but you can get this at a small store you know the local store that's owned by grandma or johnny or whatever this will cost you something like uh 11 pesos so it's just things like that but some things are the same price it all just depends you know again it's a bigger store and they got to pay for other things and they pay for the convenience that they're always open 24 hours a day and they offer so many things inside that store and they're all they're everywhere you know what i mean these oxos are everywhere in fact in some cases hey guys in some cases um they're already putting oxos on in, in in the states in the united states of america there's already oxos you know within uh, i think texas new mexico arizona all that area and um you know again you know um within the oxo network people can send money so i can send people money you know from you know from literally any oxo to any oxo and i think it's basically free free or really 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 cheap so you know basically now you know there's a lot of things that are helping remittances out here not just things like bitcoin um but there are other things like uh having the ability to you know just um go to your local oxo store in the states send money to your family in mexico or vice versa and things like that so yeah guys i mean you know basically the oxo store is amazing you know phone service and the whole phone whatever is great out here too a lot of people also ask me about the internet how is the internet out here how's the whole internet situation and so you know um basically the internet out here is also great it's also fairly fairly cheap and um in comparison to the u.s or in some cases where the prices is, is exactly like in the u.s then you're getting way better service way better service all the time because again i was having trouble the other day with my internet and it was just really really slow and i realized yeah it's slow but when i compared it you know i mean meaning it was slow for what i was used to i was already used to you know my phone service being really fast um you know not my phone service i'm sorry my um i was already used to my internet service being extremely extremely fast and then when it started slowing down and it got to like american speeds and i was like i was really upset and complaining and it was just you know just a hiccup because of the weather or whatever um so yeah you know internet service great the telecom stuff out here is great you know phone service is great you know great phone service um great prices on the phone service and again just like i was saying earlier you know about a place like oxo you know what i mean where you can take care of so many needs there just like anywhere else back in the states so you know the the fact of uh you know the convenience you know no matter where you are you know again is it, also out here basically you know even if you're in a small little pueblo in a small little place in the middle of nowhere you still have the ability you still have uh you know the a means a ways of being able to you know access a 24-hour store being able to access you know being able to send money receive money being able to access um you know uh paying bills paying your phone bill last minute and just so many things so many things again the last minute beer last minute you know um snack a little midnight snack right anything you want so all right guys with that being said i'm gonna end it here because i'm already home as you guys can see so thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else don't forget to stay awesome thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you guys manana peace